Welcome to News Around Town Hillsboro. I'm Susanna Karras, your Economic and Business Development Sustainability Director and host for today's episode. At the May 28th Township Committee meeting, Mayor Britton gave some highlights on Memorial Day events and a local event that he attended. He also told us about new businesses in town and gave us information about a new farmer's market coming to town soon. Megan Vallejo, I think Meg, it's, it's really important to, to note as well too, Megan Vallejo who is a part of the, the Girl Scouts and, and she just does so much incredible work. Uh, she's a very humble person too and it was a pleasure and honor to be able to explain all the great things that she's done in her life. And she was the fourth female Grand Marshal in the history of Hillsborough Township. So that's just a wonderful thing for her and she just represented Hillsborough incredibly well and the veterans as well too and those who had lost their lives in service. This was an opportunity for, H, uh, for Hillsborough Baseball League um, to be a part of, uh, just be recognized is a great little organization for our township and the children had a wonderful time going on the field. It was a big deal for them. And the uh, Worksha team, which is the Home School Association, put on a really great event for the kids, uh, essentially having a carnival. And I was up in a duck ta dunk tank and uh, one of our police officers, I was teasing him for not being able to hit it, so he goes over and you'll see he got me back pretty good and just slammed into it and just knocked me down into the water. So he got me good, he got me back because I was talking smack and he got me. And then the other item, I, had, uh, I was invited to Miss Casal's third grade class at Auton Road School. It's funny, I came in tonight and they all wrote thank you letters for coming in. I read every single letter and uh, sent them a quick little video back thanking them. North Hill Farm is adding a weekly farmer's market. So they left Duke Farms and Norris Hill is opening one up, which is great because we want to stay keeping it in Hillsboro and Debbie Norris and family are doing a great job there. Um, they're adding it to their schedule of community friendly events, taking a place on Tuesday afternoons from 2 o'clock to 6 o'clock p.m. at their address at 120 South Branch Road in Hillsboro. Deputy Mayor Ciccarelli shared updates from Building, Engineering, Department of Public Works and the Sustainability Office. Be advised that the Building Department has a new inspection scheduling procedure. Applicants must submit requests through the SDL portal or by filling out the inspection request form and emailing it to the designated email. At Raider Boulevard, there's a, a new traffic signal, turn arrow. Uh, the engineering department wants to inform the public that the left turn arrows for each side of Raider Boulevard at the Route 206 intersection is now functioning. The uh, NJDOT has approved the, our plans for the Brown Ave project. And I'm gonna kind of jump ahead to resolution number one, which is Dukes Parkway. Uh, we're, we're submitting a grant request to improve Dukes Parkway, so these things are all tied together. Committee Woman Han gave updates from Health, Recreation, and the Social Services Departments. The Household Hazard Waste Drop-Off is June 15th at the um, South County Public Works Garage located on 410 Roycefield Road, so please mark that on the calendar. Saturday, June 1st is the Green Living and Health Wellness Fair. It will be held on, um, again, on Saturday from 8 to 11, and this is right here at the Municipal building so excited about that dive into the ocean of adventure this summer with our sizzling lineup of programs from the rec department they have something for everyone um, you can dabble in art um, they have adult classes as well um, you can take swimming um, tennis golf any of this fun stuff they offer stem and cooking as well um, please see the 2024 Summer Activity Guide for more information. Committee Men Lapani shared updates from the Administration Office and the Economic and Business Development Office. Early voting is starting for the primary, so those who want to miss the rush, uh, but prefer to vote in person, you can do that uh, at early voting. It begins on Wednesday, May 29th here in the Municipal Building, and it will last till June 2nd. The Hillsborough Business Association hopes to see you at their next networking event, which will be June 28th from 6 to 8 p.m. at The Landing in Hillsboro. It's a great opportunity to mingle with other business owners and professionals and meet the mayor and township committee. The cost of attendance is $18, which is pretty nominal. It includes light appetizers and refreshments. A cash bar will also be available. Visit the HBA page and, and register on their website. Committee Woman Payne shared updates from the police department National Night Out. The Hillsborough Police is uh, hosting the second annual uh, National Night Out on August 6th from 6 to 8 p.m. at Mountain View Park. <laughs> so the National Night Out is a national initiative with municipalities from across the U.S. and Canada participating. It's free and open to all. Attendees will witness live displays of police and emergency vehicles, including canine, motorcycle, and fire demonstrations. Attendees at the National Night Out can also participate in kickball with the cops 
and a dunk tank while taking home prizes and souvenirs. At the May 28th meeting, there were several proclamations. Let's take a look and see who's being honored this week. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that we, the mayor and the Hillsborough Township Committee, do hereby recognize and extend our sincere congratulations to Jamie Critch for having earned her Girl Scout Gold Award and honor for both her and for those who have guided her. We wish you, Jamie, the, all the best in your future endeavors. Congratulations. Now, therefore, be proclaimed that we, the mayor and the Hillsborough Township Committee, thank Sam Connor for his many years of dedicated service to Hillsborough Township's boards and commissions and absolutely wish him the best and wish him well in all of his future endeavors. Congratulations, Sam. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that we, the mayor and the Hillsborough Township Committee, hereby declare June 7th, 2024, which is coming up, to be National Gun Violence Awareness Day and renew our commitment to reducing gun violence, pledge to do all we can to keep firearms out of the wrong hands, and encourage responsible gun ownership to help keep our children safe. Now, be it further proclaimed that we and the mayor and Hillsborough Township Committee hereby declare June 7, 2024 to be National Gun Violence Awareness Day and encourage all citizens to support their community's efforts to prevent the tragic effects of gun violence and to honor and to value human life. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that we, the mayor and the Hillsborough Township Committee, do hereby recognize June as Pride Month. Be it further proclaimed that we, the mayor and the Hillsborough Township Committee, urge all residents to recognize the contribution by members of the LGBTQ plus community and to actively promote the principles of equality and liberty. Thank you for being here. Just a reminder, you can see all of these presentations on the Township social media channels. Tune in to the Township YouTube channel to view the entire meeting and be sure to follow our social media accounts and subscribe to the Mayor's E-News for all other updates and important information. Until next time, enjoy your Hillsborough experience around town.